Okay, so they are very curious. And they're trying to learn everything. They've both figured out how to run in the wheel already. They both figured out that there was some of that, uh, the chewing materials that we bought them over here. Oh, fell out of the wheel again. They still haven't figured out how to go fast in the wheel and not fall out of it yet. And both of them, oh, it looks like this one's about to discover the water. Yes, they did. They found the water. None of, neither of them have eaten the food yet. And uh, neither of them have been able to figure out how to crawl up the tube. They've both tried, and I think they may actually be too small at this point because they're only a few weeks old. So we were told by the store, they literally are only a few weeks old and they're probably sisters. So they cannot fit up the tube yet. In a few weeks they may grow and or figure it out and be able to actually crawl up the tube. But for now, they cannot. Now we actually bought them a few other treats that we're not giving them tonight. This is the first night we have them. Oh, you. What are you doing? We've got this cool log thing. It's called a snack shack. What they do is there's all kinds of filling inside they can eat that's good for them. And they can actually hide inside of it later as a toy, right? It's a toy that they can play with. We also got them these yogurt bites, which they like. And we're going to get them some fresh cabbage probably tomorrow because they do love fresh cabbage. So we'll toss that in there too for them to eat. But, uh, Tonight is going to be a hectic night. They're going to be going nuts. They're going to be trying to figure everything out in this, this eat in the tube, trying to figure it out. Can't seem to figure out how to climb up all the way. They will probably go back and figure it out eventually in a few weeks, to, or if not, you know, sooner rather than later. I think right now they might be too weak to climb up it. And there they go out of the wheel again. <laughs> Pretty silly. So these are our new pets. I'm not sure what we're going to name them. It'll all depend probably on how they behave. You know, if they have any habits or anything, or if maybe one of them will like something and one of them won't, or one of them is fussy and one won't. Right now they're getting along well, they're wrestling, they're from the same cage by the way. We got, they were two living, already living together in the pet store, so they already know each other. So it's not like it's two strangers trying to get accumulated with each other, they already knew each other from the get-go. And there were no other animals in the cage, so it's, they were already cage mates and they already knew each other. It's not like, you know, oh no, you separated me from my beloved or anything like that, nope. And there they go. I fully knew they were going to start chewing everything. You heard that? They started chewing on the plastic. That is what hamsters do. They chew everything. Absolutely everything becomes their chew toy. And that's why we got them such a big habitat. They can chew whatever the hell they want. Since they're so small, I doubt they're ever going to go through anything. I'm a little angry because, oh, hello. <laughs> Ran away already. Because they already, this thing was already broken. I'm going to show you. When I bought it, it already was cracked. See this? I had to put tape over this big hole. And here too, the whole hinge is broken. The way this works is you're supposed to be able to just lift the whole thing off the base and clean the base while you put the hamsters in something else. I could still do that. And the good news is because they are small hamsters, there's no way they're gonna be able to lift the cage up. But it's a little pit, a little frustrating. You buy you know, one of the nicest cages that they have for hamsters and it's freaking broken out of the box. That's bullshit. But whatever. Um, it is what it is, and it's functional, and it works, and the hamsters are enjoying it already. Did they go? <laughs> All right, so these are our new pets, and I may be doing like a daily vlog or, of them to show you what, how, what's going on with them, maybe when we feed them uh, treats and stuff. You know, when we actually have the different treats, we give them to them for the first time, and we see how they enjoy them, then maybe we will uh, do some vlogging with the new hamsters, right? I love little, little uh, hamsters. I had hamsters as a kid, I loved them and I'm happy to have them again. I've been waiting my whole life to get them again and here we are. So, day one of the cute Dungerian dwarf hamster uh, duo here. Nameless for now, but will be named soon. And you'll be seeing more of them shortly. Very nice.